the Doppler effect. Be sure to take notes when you see the video pause indicator. A moving point source and a ripple tank will help us visualize the Doppler effect. Notice how the wave fronts appear to pile up in front of the moving source and seem to spread out on the back side of the source. Here's an illustration of the waveform you just saw generated in Ripple Tank with a moving source. If we had observers here, and if this wasn't a water wave in a Ripple Tank, but a sound wave coming from a, the car's horn honking that you saw in the previous video, then an observer in front of the car would hear these bunched up waves created by the source moving as the sound was being emitted. And so these waves would have a shorter wavelength and therefore a higher frequency. If you're an observer here and the car has already passed you up, then those sound waves are trying to get back to you as the source is moving away from you and that stretches the wavelengths here and so you end up having a longer frequency and a uh, uh, I'm sorry a lower frequency and a longer wavelength here longer wavelength lower frequency shorter wavelength higher frequency so when a car was passing you by again you heard the you heard the ear going from high pitch to low pitch So you would heard a sound transition here. So if this is the particular frequency around 11,000 uh, cycles of second or 11,000 hertz here, and when the car was cruising past you, it started out with a high frequency, and then after the car had passed you over here, it would be down at a lower frequency. So we go from high, to low, but it transitions as it comes by you. And you're standing here at this location. So it goes from and that's the Doppler shift that you would hear. The Doppler effect also works if the sound source is stationary and the observer is moving. So if you're going riding a bike, let's say, towards a violinist, you would hear a tone that would be a higher pitch than you would hear if uh, you were standing still relative to the violin. If you're going away from the violinist, you would hear a pitch which was lower. Um, as you moved away and the waves seem to stretch out. So the Doppler effect also works if the sound source is fixed and, the, uh, and you're moving relative to that sound source. Notice now from our, tran our sound transition plot that if the source was fixed right here, the siren, the police car was fixed, and there's a siren here, that or the ding, ding, ding that we heard from the uh, uh, train track, and you were the observer moving, then uh, as you went through here, the sound would transition down again. This would be the regular or normal sound right in the middle. These would be the higher pitch sounds, and these would be the lower pitch sounds. Of course, the uh, before when this was a car horn, now if instead of a car horn it was the higher pitched ding 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 dings that you heard, it might be a higher frequency to start with and it would follow this curve up here. Ding 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 as you went by the thing that was dinging. There are other forms of Doppler shifts, not just in ordinary sound waves, but in this case, microwaves. Uh, electromagnetic radiation that's uh, transmitted out and bounced off of uh, different storm uh, systems and uh, then that reflected wave is measured and, and uh, there's a measurement of the difference in reflected waves from the motion of the storm pattern and we get Doppler radar that you see uh, pretty much on your nightly newscast for weather. 
We also have uh, Doppler ultrasound machines where uh, we can actually visualize blood flowing through a vein by the different Doppler, Doppler shifts and determine the relative speed of the blood movement. And finally, there's also Doppler shifting associated with uh, the stars and uh, that uh, are around when we look at stars. We notice that stars, uh, the normal color uh, spectrum of a star, um, is slightly, like from our sun, for example, uh, it gives us a normal spectrum. But the other stars out in the night sky, we notice that all of their color bands, which line up with our sun's color band bands, um, are slightly off, uh, off alignment. They all line up uh, in the same pattern, but they're slightly shifted toward the red end of the uh, spectrum, which means that uh, there's a color shift indicating that the other stars are moving away from us. So the rest of the universe is expanding away from us, moving away from us. Um, and if we do detect uh, uh, blue light uh, shifting from uh, the pattern the spectral pattern of a star, then that would indicate that the star would be moving toward us. But what we see in the night sky is most of the stars are moving away from us. I don't care if anybody gets it, I'm going as the Doppler effect. <laughs> no, it's not. If bad. I have to, I can demonstrate. <laughs> so what time does the costume parade start? The parade? Yeah, so the judges can give out the prizes for best costume. You know, most frightening, most authentic, most accurate visualization of a scientific principle. Oh, Sheldon, I'm sorry, but there aren't going to be any parades or judges or prizes. This party is just going to suck. Uh, hey, what's Sheldon supposed to be? Oh, he's the Doppler effect. Yes. It's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. Doppler effect. All right, I got a shower. You guys, um, make yourselves comfortable. Okay. See? People get it. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Hello. So what are you supposed to be? Me? I'll give you a hint. Meow. <laughs> a choo-choo train? Close. <gasps> A brain damage choo choo train? I still don't get it. I'm the Doppler effect. Okay, if that is some sort of learning disability, I think it's very insensitive. Why don't you just tell people you're a zebra? Well, why don't you just tell people you're one of the seven dwarves? Because I'm Frodo. Yes, well, I'm the Doppler effect. Ah, uh, Sheldon's the best. Oh, except for Scratch. Uh, oh, and here's Scratch's parting thought. And hopefully Doppler effect wasn't too hard for you to understand. Hopefully you're not seeing red. Good luck on your quest for continuous improvement.